What's up, everybody? This is Sean. This is Alan. And this is Inside the Square, the wrestling podcast coming at you every Saturday from sunny St. Mary's, California, Maryland. What's good, big buddy? Survivor Series War Games. Coming soon. Coming soon. Who you got? Bray Wyatt's group. We're going to see who all is in his group uh, very soon. Uh, it was interesting. Yesterday afternoon, you know, he was in Crown Jewel. Uh, he didn't have a match. But, no. But those who don't know, Bray Wyatt is extremely popular in Saudi Arabia. Very popular. Extremely popular. And when they showed his pop, when he came down to the ring, it was like the old school Bray Wyatt from the Wyatt family. Uh, he had his lantern. People had their cell phone lights on. And it was incredible. It was amazing. It was amazing. Um, you know, talk a little bit about Crown Jewel yesterday, uh, yesterday afternoon, not last night, since it was... Um, you know, last night in Saudi Arabia, um, but it was an incredible uh, card. Uh, let's talk a little bit about that card, uh, the Brock Lesnar, uh, Bobby Lashley fight. It was really good. One of the most entertaining matches of the night. It's, it kicked off the whole card, uh, and it was on as soon as the bell rung. I did not expect Bobby Lashley to beat the living hell out of Brock Lesnar like he did. <laughs> But they're going to have another match. Uh, They got to, man. It was just so good uh, watching it because I was like, it was kind of some redemption because the last time Brock Lesnar kind of dominated him. But this was like a different Bobby Lashley, which I like the way they they framed it. But Roman Reigns interfered the last time. Yeah, the last time. And caused Brock Lesnar a title. Right. But this, this was like, this was a little different. Um, Lashley didn't even wait for Brock to get into the ring. <laughs> nope. He attacked him. It was on on sight. And I think that's how they have to have this rivalry. You know, the two alpha males. Um, and both of them, you know, have a, have an amateur wrestling background. Both of them have combat sports background in MMA. You know, Brock Lesnar, if you don't know, he was a UFC heavyweight champion a couple times. A lot. Uh, two Like two times. Yeah, two times, yeah. Um, and... Bobby Lashley had a really successful career. I want to say in Bellator. Yeah, uh, I think he was five and one. Really good fighter. Really good. Really good fighter. And he was, you know, NAIA champion a few times. All Army wrestling. You know, he has a really strong amateur background too. So he's yeah. a real wrestler. He's really good. So it was interesting to see them uh, go at it. Uh, another great match last night was uh, Bianca Belair and Bailey. It was really good. It was pure chaos. I loved it. Uh, Bianca Belair. Uh, for those who did know, you know she's held she's held the belt a long time now. Really long time until WrestleMania, she might drop it. Uh, she is super popular too. Uh, she had a huge pop yeah. over in Saudi Arabia when she came and, out, and Bailey too. Not like Bianca though. Uh, it was like something special when she came out. I was yeah. just like, hmm. and you know normally. You know, and then we just talking. The black wrestlers, African American wrestlers, don't really get a pop like that over there. Um, I think some of it has to do with some cultural differences, and some of it might be some pseudo racism. Yeah. Um, but let's not let's not get into it. Yeah, we don't get into that that deep. But you know, it's mm-hmm. for some reason they don't get the same pop. Um, it, the almost uh, almost and Braun Strowman match was interesting. Almost dominated the entire match. I yeah, think. he did, bro. Didn't like the way it look, ended. Look, like he can move. That dude is. That's his best wrestling match I'd ever seen. Uh, like he has potential. Who does? Uh, uh, almost. Yeah, I mean he's he's a giant, but he's like he's an athletic tri- one. Like Triple H should push him. Like it would make sense. It uh, would make sense for him to get pushed yes, too. Uh, yes. He dominated Strowman. Uh, Strowman really put him over. Yeah. Um, Sherman's really, really strong because he picked really him up, really strong, and power bro. slammed him. At, you know, at the very end, but the whole match he was getting his ass beat. Yeah, the whole time, the whole match he was getting his ass beat. Yeah, 
the match of the night, the the bottom of the card was uh, Roman Reigns and uh, was it Jake? Lo- pa- Logan Paul. Well, I, I always get them dudes confused. Logan it, Paul. They look alike to me, and they that do. sounded bad. But uh, Logan Paul, a decent match. It was like thirty five, almost forty minute match. Yeah, um, had a little bit of everything in it. I think uh, you know Roman had to kind of put him over. To show yeah, it was a, like you know, to sell it. Yeah, to sell it. It was kind of like some. I don't know. It was a good match. I just have a hard. It was a lot of interference. I have a hard pro. I have a hard time with you know the professional wrestlers putting the celebrities over. Yeah. Because I'm like, this dude outweighs you by sixty five pounds. Yeah. And he's four or five inches taller than you. He bench. He bench presses four hundred pounds. Yeah. In one day. I'm just saying, at one time, you know, yeah. Reigns is like a physical specimen. It's a physical specimen. Play college football at Georgia Tech. A long time. But but that's what I'm saying. And you're going to think this 200 pounds uh, internet celebrity dude's going to. It's just, it's. He has to suspend a lot of belief yeah. to think that he could really hold his own against somebody that size at that skill level. And you rate that match a nine. It was entertaining. It was entertaining. I didn't think, I didn't expect much. From Logan Paul? Yeah, I didn't expect much from him at all. This lucky punch stuff, it's bullshit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's so stupid. I'm going to get one lucky punch. But he didn't. Every little dude who gets in a fight thinks he has that one lucky punch. But no. Nope. nope. You, you get, don't. You don't. You get your ass whooped. That's how that works. Uh, so it was really odd to, to just see Roman Reigns put this dude over. Um I don't know. I, I it was a good match. Don't let, let's not let's not uh dilly dally and saying that it was a well, good match. Like Logan Paul showed out. He yeah he uh, had a little bit more skill level than I anticipated. Probably yeah. you know a lot of lot of training, a lot of uh, preparation from Shawn Michaels. Well, probably from whoever's training him. Yeah, it's not just Shawn Michaels. Yeah. I mean, they have a whole plethora of trainers. But it was interesting to see him. Um, you know, he has a lot of tricks. Copied a lot of moves from a lot of different people, but he was he was entertaining. Very uh, entertaining. sad to see that he hurt himself. Yeah, you no, know, I guess he tore his meniscus and something else. Uh, his know. ACL or something. Yeah, so I don't have a, you know, I don't, I don't say anything about anybody getting hurt. You know, that's yeah. that's not cool. That's serious. Yeah, it's very serious. You you shouldn't celebrate people getting hurt. So I no. w- I won't even say nothing crazy like that. Like Roman Reigns hit that spear like bruh. Yeah, Bruh, so. I knew he was going to win the whole time. I thought Logan Paul was going to win. I didn't. I never thought he was going to win because he's not the, the, you know, he doesn't carry the company like Roman Reigns does. Like, why did the Usos always interfere in Roman Reigns' matches? It makes no sense. They kind of didn't really interfere in this match. They didn't touch Logan Paul. Uh, only at the end, they're trying to attack they Jake did, Paul. They did not touch him. Yeah. If, if you notice, they uh, pulled. Like, the Usos sell the punch or something. They, they pulled the two dudes out of the audience and beat the hell out of them, but they didn't touch Logan Paul. Nope. At all. So they didn't really interfere. Like, it was a clean match or something. Yeah, it was, It was. was. I think it was kind of clean. I think Sokoa. Yeah. Uh, I think they should integrate him more into the storyline. Yeah. Because he's, he, I'm telling you, he has that and, Umaga and factor. Going against Roman Reigns. I don't see him going against Roman Reigns. He's like the silent partner dude. Like he's the yeah. big dude that whoops people asses for the little dude. And Sami Zayn is a natural treasure. Yeah, that dude's incredible. I'm surprised he didn't make the trip. Um, I'm not sure why he didn't. Who knows? You know, Sami Zayn is. You know, he's Canadian, but he's at, he's also Syrian. Yeah. Uh, for those who don't know, his, his people are from Syria. Um, it, I like Sami Zayn. I think he is incredible. He's very incredible. Um. He's hilarious. He's like a lot of comic relief. Very fun to watch. Um, I'm hoping, um, you know, he's on Friday Night SmackDown or whatever they show him up again. Uh, but they should start really entertaining him for a belt, man. Yeah. He's, like the Usos have a match against New Day. Yeah. And if they win, they win. They uh, have the title longer than anybody else. I have to say New Day. New Day has to win this one. I don't know, man. Like I said, the Usos, you know, they, they've they been uh, tag team champs eight times. Yeah, more than New Day. That's a lot, man. I yeah. mean, the company has to trust you that many times to be But champ. Triple H trusts them. I think so, too. Yeah. So we're going we're gonna to switch from Crown Jewel and talk a little bit about, uh, a little bit about NXT. Any... 
I, I like I like what they've been doing with Braun Breaker. Um, I think having a long title reign, you know, long second reign as as the NXT champion. Yeah, uh, really interesting um, match with Pretty Deadly, and he and uh, Carmelo Hayes. Uh, uh, no, it was Wesley. Wesley, I'm sorry. Why do I get those two uh, dudes confused? Wesley and Braun Breaker. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like I said, interesting match. Breaker kind of shows his power um, in that match. He put a double suplex. And On it, Pretty Deadly. And it was incredible because I was like, he did the suplex and he did a kip up. I was like, God, yeah. that dude is special, man. And Carmelo Hayes, like, he interfered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what that's what I got confused about. He did interfere. Um, it I, made no sense. I think Carmelo Hayes is going to end up winning that belt from Braun Breaker eventually. Yeah, I think that he's going to win that belt, and I think Breaker is going to go to the main roster at some point. Who's going to beat Carmelo Hayes for that NXT champion? I, so, I don't know. Uh, I, I because I know they got uh, Von Wagner is is feuding with him now. Yeah, uh, Von Wagner has no charisma. But he's very stiff in the ring. He that's what I'm saying. He he has no charisma. He's stiff in the ring and he's very, very But that ladder match he he's showed boring. out. He's boring, man. Like did he show out the I don't, ladder I don't, match? I don't, I don't agree with you. I don't think he did. I think he's kinda stiff. Very stiff. And he, he he's not good at talking. Yeah. Um I don't know why they keep getting these giant Big dudes. Just let them go against Paulo Cruz. Like, what, that's it. What I'm saying is they got these giant big dudes who can't talk, stiff in the ring. Yeah. And they very, they, they have no charisma. You don't get excited when they come like, out. Like, you know who's a really good talker? Who? Braun Breaker. Breaker has that dog in him, man. He, yeah. He sounds like Scott Steiner. Uh, he's hilarious. He says crazy stuff. And uh, he goes in the ring and backs it up. But one match I want to see is Apollo Cruz versus Braun Breaker. That would be pretty good. Yeah. I, that would be pretty good. I would like to see that, too, to be honest with you. Yeah. Um, like, Apollo would almost win, but Breaker has a little bit of an edge to it for his cardio background. Breaker has great cardio. Yeah, better than Roman Reigns. I wouldn't go that far. He's younger than Roman yeah. Reigns, so yeah. that, that, but that doesn't mean he has better cardio than Roman Reigns. Yeah. Um, they're, different, they're different kind of athletes. Yeah. But, but they're different. It, yeah, they're different kind of athletes. But I don't know about if he has a cardio edge or not. Uh, Reigns, Reigns' cardio seems like it's on point, man. Bruh. That dude can go all Bruh. day. Um, and you could tell even at the end of the match, last last night, yesterday afternoon, he was not even winded. No, he wasn't. He was not even winded. Um, all that, the match lasted 35, 40 minutes, and he was not even winded. No, he wasn't. And I tell you a lot about his cardio. And yeah. that dude's at 265. Yeah. That that should tell like, you a lot. Like he's the same weight as Drew McIntyre, but and he's a little Drew bit McIntyre shorter. McIntyre is taller. Yeah, and than but, Roman Reigns. But he looks he looks the part, man. Yeah, uh, Breaker does too, and that's what I'm saying. With him, I think they'd be smart if they moved him up to one of the bigger brands or Nikita Lyons. I like Nikita Lyons, man. Her and um, Zoe, Zoe Stark, Stark got screwed over I think from that, titles. I think that that group is about to break up. Yeah, Nikita Lyons' is heel turn. I think she's going to turn heel. Or Zoe Stark. I can't see Zo- I don't know. I don't know. Whoever turns heel is going to be like a surprise. Yeah. But Nikita Lyons is just like, you know, she has to do simping. And yeah. then, you know, she she does a lot of stuff, you know. and But, on you know, she does a lot of stuff. She's fun to look at and stuff like that. But people forget, you know, she's a trained martial artist. Yeah. What about <laughs> she, Zoe Stark? Zoe Stark's an athlete, man. Yeah. She is she is really good good athlete. Do uh, you like her finisher? I I think that I think that she should go in the main roster uh too. Yeah. But I, I don't know. Uh I don't know what else they got left to do in NXT. Yeah. But she's very polished. Nikita Lyons is very polished too. Yeah. Um It'd be interesting for them to go in the main roster because then they they have more people, more top level people to wrestle, yeah. like Ronda Rousey, like Shayna Baszler, because um, those two are awesome. I like yeah. that little heel turn. Yeah, I the, saw well, it coming. It's a double heel turn with Shayna Baszler. Yeah, she beat the hell out of, out of Nat- Natalia. Yeah, Natalia didn't deserve it. It's weird, man, because. I don't know. I've been waiting for Shayna Baszler to do something like this for a long time. Really long time. She's one of my favorite wrestlers, period. I think Triple H might 
bring back her old theme music back. I loved her old, her old theme music. Yeah. Um, she's she's fine. You know, for those who don't know, Shayna Baszler, former NXT champion. Yeah. Former women's tag team champion. She's a former MMA fighter. Bruh. She is Bruh. the real deal. <laughs> for those who didn't see the wrestle, she is the real deal. I follow her on Instagram. Shout out Shayna Baszler. Man, Queen of Spades. She is a training machine. Yeah. She, she takes no prisoners. She takes, she takes she takes no she cuts no corners when she's doing her training. She's a really good athlete, man. Yeah, it's just the promos. Like that's it. She does have problems with some of the promos sometimes. Yeah. But she's really good. Like Triple H needs to push her against Ronda Rousey. I, I just don't see that happening right now. I think maybe until WrestleMania season. I think Ronda Rousey is building a stable. Yeah. Which kind of stable? I don't know. I, I think that she's that she's building a stable. I think it'd be a cool stable for like her to have Shayna Baszler and maybe someone like Sonya Deville, bruh, former MMA fighter, bruh, bruh. people bruh. rather. Yeah, I, that's what I think. Uh, but enough about that. I'll talk a little bit about AEW. Powerhouse Hobbs. What do you think of him? Amazing. That dude is incredible. Man. He had a really good match with Ricky Starks. Yes, he did. Uh, his, his old partner, um, they, and it's and it's weird because you know we talking about powerhouse Hobbs now, but he's been wrestling for a while, man, a long time, and we just you know it's just like uh, you see these new not not even new wrestlers, you see these no. people debut on primetime TV, and you're like, holy shit, look at this dude, yeah, you know he came out there, and I'm like this dude, like, I mean he came out there like Buff Bagwell, he was huge, bruh, bruh, and he he looks and does the part. Um, like he might win the TNT championship. You think so? Yeah. I don't know, man. Warlow. Well, Warlow is a monster, man, and he's fun to watch too. Warlow does good promos. Yeah. I, I just don't know. Like, I, how long did he have that title for? He's had it for a little while now. Yeah, he's had it for a little while. I don't know if if Hobbs is the answer for that I belt. I think Hobbs is the answer for that belt. He is. <sighs> I I don't know. I'd like to see him win a belt. Yeah. I'd like to see him win a belt. I like Against Warlow. Yeah. I, that's gonna be rough. That's gonna be rough. I like Warlow. Yeah. I do he's he's fun to watch, man. He's good in the ring, good promos. I always wonder why they never push him for the big belt. The AEW like, Heavyweight against Championship. Against John Moxley. It seemed like he'd be natural a natural champion though. Yeah. But he's not, you know, he's not the name. He's not Kenny Omega. He's not Moxley. He's not uh, Chris Jericho. He's not CM Punk. You know, he's not like the big name. Yeah. But he is a good wrestler. Or the or elite, the elite or something. Yeah, the elite are really good too. Yeah. But the, I don't know, man. I'd I'd like to see him get pushed. Yeah. So this this you know, this is a standing for a Wardlow and, and Powerhouse Hobbs, man. You see those dudes, man, those dudes are they're the future of that company. They are. You know, Mosley won't be around forever. He might go you know, he just resigned to AEW for but, six year extension or something. I don't know how long. Or five year. I thought, extension. I thought it was four. It, I think it was a five year extension. I know he got. Uh, I know he got paid. The, he, they had a to back lot. Up, yeah, they had to back up that money truck. For yeah. Him. Uh, but it's interesting. Like I said, the way Tony Khan is locking people in. Um, now I'm curious to see if they're gonna give Jay Cargill a bunch of money to ask her to stay. Yeah. That's gonna be rough. If she leaves, the women's division is going to go in the toilet a little bit. Yeah. Almost like Tony Storm is the women's champion now, still. Yeah, but I think Jay Cargill should be the women's champion. Against Tony Storm? She's a more popular wrestler. Yeah, true that, true that. She puts asses in seats. Yeah. Let's, let's, you know, Tony Storm might be a more accomplished wrestler. And she is. She's more accomplished. She's been, she's been a professional a lot longer. And she's very, she's not stiff in the ring like Cargill is. Yeah. But she doesn't have the charisma Jay Cargill has. But I, she has to go against Jamie and all out. I saw yeah, she does. I saw that I think Jamie is gonna win that title. I, I, I see I don't it agree coming. With you. I, I don't, see it I don't coming. Agree with you. I don't agree with you. Uh getting back to Jay Cargill. I saw her promo on TikTok. Man, she's doing pull ups, doing talking talking smack in a promo. I was like, Oh yeah. my god, this is this is what the, this is what the future look like. Yeah, you know, I always say, you know, that is the future. Wherever she's at, whatever she's gonna do, she's gonna be a star. 
wherever she goes, wherever she does. She has the it factor, kind of like Bianca Belair. Yeah. But she's not as good in the ring as Bianca Belair is. Yeah. She's just, she's not. She ain't. Bianca Belair is, you know, she trained in NXT for a while. She's just like Jay Cargo, you know, athletic. Uh, but Bianca's been at it longer. She's she's more polished, and she does a lot more in the ring, especially uh, yesterday, last night at Crown Jewel. Her match with Bailey was all over the place, all over, all over the place, and it was crazy. But it was good. I, I thought Damage Control was gonna interfere or something. Damage Control won those belts back. That match, well, like nobody saw it coming. That match, I, I, I saw it coming. Come on, that match was so sloppy. Yeah, it was so sloppy. But Oscar but didn't do too sloppy at all. I just, I just didn't like the match. I didn't think it was that well done. Yeah. Um, if you watch Bianca Belair match and Bailey's match, that match was really good. It was not that stiff at all. It wasn't stiff at all, and it was crazy, just chaos. Yeah, and that sometimes that's what you need to throw a little to sprinkle a little bit of chaos in there. Yeah, but uh, you know that that wraps us up for this week. Um, if you, if you got any questions, get at us on on Instagram, on Twitter, on uh, on TikTok, and uh, that's it for us this week. The next time, see you down the road. Bye.